Hey guys, welcome to a new video. This is a quick little tip hair tutorial regarding Milkmaid braids. Milkmaid braids are adorable, they are timeless, it's something that always comes back. But I very often see women wearing their Milkmaid braids like this, which is perfectly fine of course, it looks super cute from the front, very cute from the side as well. But in my personal opinion, it kind of looks weird from the back because it's just a parting and nothing else. In my opinion, it's not the most flattering hairstyle for the back of your head. And there is a very easy way to remedy this if you should want to do that and to wear it in a way that is a bit more flattering 360, I guess. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how to do milkmaid braids with no parting down the back. I am wearing some hair extensions for this demonstration just so you can see a little bit better. You don't need them, of course. You can do this on your own hair perfectly well. This is pretty obvious, but if we don't want to have a parting in the back, we need to not make a parting down the back. So I am going to split my hair into two sections. And I'm just going to grab my hair kind of below my hairline, grab it and separate it into two. So now I'm going to make my actual braids and when I do that I'm going to keep one of these sides pulled forward and if you want you could even just clip this away so that it's out of the way. I'm going to take the other side and I'm actually going to pull it to the opposite side of my head so that I have it in front of me now and I am going to braid it like this, pulled in that direction. So I'm just gonna separate this into three and braid it. Okay, I'm gonna tie it off with a little hair elastic like I normally would. So that's one braid done. I'm gonna let down the other half of my hair and I'm going to do the same thing but in the opposite direction. So I'm going to pull it to the other side. I'm gonna leave this braid over my shoulder, pull this to the other side and do the same thing. So I'm gonna braid it, pull in this direction. So now that I have my two braids that are already crossed in the back and laying nice and flat in the proper directions that I'm actually going to want them to go in, I'm going to pull them up and just finish my hairstyle like I would regular milkmaid braids as well. So I'm going to tuck the ends of one of the braids underneath the other braid and pin this down with some bobby pins. And then the tail of the other braid is going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I always like to slide my bobby pins in underneath the larger braid uh, instead of over it so that you don't actually end up seeing the bobby pins in the end. I just feel like it looks better when the pins are a bit discreet. So that leaves you with a hairstyle that looks a little something like this. It still has the simplicity and the funness of milkmaid braids but it's just a little bit more grown up maybe and again I really like that there is no parting in the back. It provides a bit more volume in the back as well for any fellow flat-headed ladies <laughs> like me that can use a bit of volume in the back here. Yeah, this is just my preferred way of doing milkmaid braids. So I hope this was helpful. If the parting has been something that has been bothering you as well, then here is a way that you can easily fix that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video.